Steph's our new manager. I didn't even know we were getting one. Oh, Mum said you're doing a great job. I'm just here to help. So as soon as I'm settled, we'll have a staff meeting and see where we're all at. Great. Mm. Oh, I better not slack off in front of the new boss. Um, <laughs> great to meet you. Yeah, you too. So, lots to catch up on. Yeah. Where are you going to be living? Uh, I'm in a motel for now. I'm looking for something more permanent. Right. Are there any plans for Charlie to join you down the track? No. He's staying in Fiji with Max. Well, Max gives me updates, so it's all good. Mm. I was just about to knock off. Oh! Yeah, um, don't let me stop you. Well, we'd stay. It's just our little boy. He's just out of hospital. You guys have a kid? Yeah, Patrick. He, he's only a little baby and he's completely gorgeous. Oh. oh. <laughs> Mum didn't say anything. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. You too, Vanessa. Thank you. Oh, well, go, go. You get home to that bubber of yours. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, you too. I'll just grab my bag. Yeah. We'll have a proper catch up soon, yeah? Yeah, sounds great. So good to see you. And your current address? Erinsborough Motel. Okay, that all seems to be in order. You're aware you must present for parole appointments every week? Yes. You're also required to see a psychiatrist on a weekly basis? That's right. Have you made your first appointment? Yes, next Tuesday, 9am. I see that you applied for parole once before and were knocked back. What happened? Apparently I wasn't ready. What makes you ready now? Well, I've learnt by my mistakes and I'm ready to make a fresh start. <sighs> Look, I know it's your job to ask all of these questions, but I, I really am committed to getting back on my feet. And since I'll be working with your wife, I'd just like us to be friends. Well, so long as you abide by your parole conditions, we shouldn't have a problem. What are you doing home? Shh. No, 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 she just, she just fell asleep. Sorry, I thought you were at the nursery. No, I was at to close up early. I fired Penelope. What happened? No, well, don't ask, it was the day from hell. <laughs> oh, can I get you something? Tea, chocolate? A new top. Oh. Now she spewed on me. Sounds like fun. Hey, sit down. I'll get you a drink. Do you know anyone that um that could run a nursery? Uh, baby nursery. Yes. Sorry. I wish I could help. What are you gonna do? I'll just have to keep going back until I can find someone. It's just that Nelly, she hates it. Mm. When's Trudy home? Not for a few days. <sighs> I could look after her. No, you need to be resting, not looking after a baby, thank you. No, it's just Nelly. I know her routine. It's easy. It's easy, is it? Easier than nursing, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I would love to help. It'll be good for me, being around Nelly. Yeah, okay. Yes, that actually, it would be great. Thank you. Did Lucas and Vanessa live there together? Yeah, well, um, they weren't in together until a couple of months ago. After Vanessa had the baby? <laughs> it's, it's kind of complicated. Um, I, I don't want you to think I'm crying, but I really appreciate you filling in the gaps for me, just so I don't put my foot in it with Vanessa. Yeah, sure, if yeah. I can. Thanks. Um, so Lucas and Vanessa weren't a couple when she got pregnant? Well, it wasn't planned. It's probably better not to mention her ex-fiancé, though. She was engaged to someone else. Yeah, uh, a guy called Reese. He died. Oh, it's awful. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm putting you in a really awkward position. <laughs> no, 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 look, it's all good. I suppose the only thing you really need to know is that Lucas stood by Vanessa and now they're both really happy. Yeah. It's just like him to do the right thing. Yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>